Okay, so you have come across um, a hiccup due to Google changing how they allow access to their map API. Um, this could be a bit of a pain, hey? So what you where you think that there should be a map in your WordPress theme, suddenly there's no map. And now this, um, I, I guess Google has changed how they're allowing access to their Google Map API. Uh, any site that had previously been running the API has been grandfathered. However, if you're setting up a new site, um, what you have to do is you need to obtain what's called an API key. So there's two things that we're going to get you to do. So this is an example of how things are not working, right? And um, so we notice that there's no um, map going on here. I'm using Chrome, and, and I'm going to recommend that you do something very similar here. I'm going to be pulling up, I'm using uh, Control-Shift-I. It's basically pulling up the developer tools. You can also access the developer tools by going to More Tools, and then over to Developer Tools here. So what we're getting here is a Google Map API warning. And you see that there's a, there's two links. There's Obviously, there's the, the, the link for the error, and then there's something else going on here. Um, and so what we do is we can just click on this. Uh, we can either click on this one or the second one. I'm just going to click here, and I'll show you here that they're basically describing this error, which is no API keys. Um, it doesn't have an API key. You just click on obtaining an API key. Okay. You go through here. Basically, you just hit get a key. Um, and if you're logged in, rate um, and it's going to ask you pretty much um, you know to set up a project getting API details and then you're going to get your key you just have to you know agree to these terms and conditions um, and so it'll create a project and then it'll give you a key okay so that <laughs> that part is get it key so um, what we do next is we we log into uh, the site here. So I was just uh, you know, playing around in here. There's two things that we need to do. First thing you need to do is you need to hit the update theme button. You need to make sure you have the latest version of the framework because um, the framework um, uses the, the map system in two places. So you need to run the update theme um, routine. So you can hit the, uh, the get the latest version of the theme. So that's the first thing you need to do. And then the second thing you need to do um, because we may not have updated your particular um, uh, theme yet for this this new system but basically you can go and into the editor appearance editor find theme functions and then we're gonna go and we're just gonna scroll down until we find uh, just where we have here we see this uh, Google Maps and you see how we have here um, this line here where I've got uh, maps.google.com and so on and so forth. After the question mark, type in the word key and then equals. It's, it's going to drop down to the next line. That's fine. And then you put in the key that you get from this last step here. Okay, so let's get enough. I'm just going to go through and uh, do this. Yes. Oh, I don't want updates. I uh, agree. Yes. Terms of service. Make sure you go through the terms of service, obviously. Read through every single word. Make sure that... Um, you're not giving away your firstborn or secondborn to Google. Know your rights. Make sure you read through that, but I've already read through it. So this is just going to take us a second. And then we would grab the API key uh, that they give us. So it's just, uh, oh, there we go, enabling API. Very good. And uh, very good. So here we are. Google APIs. This is uh, my key here. And it's probably a good idea for you to lock it down to your particular domain. So make sure you follow the, um, the features in here. But, you know, that's something that you need to do as well. And then uh, what we can do is um, we create ourselves um, this key. Okay, so I'm just going to grab this key, just as we see here. Okay. I just selected it, and I went Control-C for copy. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go back here. And after the equals... After the equals, I hit paste, and then I add an ampersand, that little guy there, shift seven on your keyboard. Once I've done that, I hit update file, and we can make sure, and I'm pretty sure we don't have any other lines with that in it. We don't. We hit update file, and this will solve many of the, the cases here where you go and put in your own API key, but also it's a good idea to make sure your theme 
has been updated with the latest code. Um, so we're going to go back here and we're going to hit reload. And magically, our map now works. Okay, so it's not difficult. You just need to follow those steps exactly. Um, now, if you had come across a uh, script that already had a key in it, or had a line that says, you know, you don't need to worry about putting in the key, then that's great. Your theme has been updated. But in the meantime, before we get a chance to update all of the themes, you can do this yourself. We're going to be adding a feature to the framework where you'll be able to um, add your own API key um, through our, uh, our framework. But until that's done, uh, and that may be a couple weeks, um, you can use this method. And when that comes around, uh, in all likelihood, when you run the next theme update, you'll have to go and place this API key in, um, in, the, in place over in the general framework. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Uh, just follow those steps and you'll get your map back.